So, so you mentioned that uh, first uh, standalone system in uh, in Niger, I think it was. Um, what, what was the biggest learning from uh, you you got from that project and other projects? What's the biggest learning where you said, "Man, we didn't think of that," but it's essential to make the project successful. What's the key learning? Well, yeah, that you oh. cannot sell equipment to African communities. You cannot think that a high tech engine is working in a Malian village where it's 50 degrees, where people 90% of are analphabets. You cannot just leave them technology and think that something sustainable ran out of it. So yeah. this shift we made in the three first projects, because yeah. there we planned to sell the container to the community mm. and they pay in, in, in monthly rates. But yeah. the idea was to train the village itself, like in Germany, we say Genossenschaft, so it's like a cooperative. Yeah. And the cooperative approach failed um, in, in, in the early uh, three years of HET. And then we switched uh, to this much more difficult model where we own the asset yeah. and we, um, we sell the, 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 the service, not the engine. 